So I'm continuing and I'm just going to show you another liner brush I've got. I call them riggers, riggers, uh, maybe because they're used sometimes for painting rigging on ships. Anyway, this one is Camlum Pro Plata and I don't know how you pronounce that. And despite this big crack, it's actually a fantastic brush. So let's try this one. You know, it is good fun to buy different kinds of um, the same type of brush uh, just to um, see if it's better. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to use the side of the brush. So um, here we go. Like that. And we're going to do quick marks then a little bit slower and then very slow and these marks are useful because we could do a tree for example like this going up and then we can do branches using the point like this very simple. But looks very nice. Looks very nice. So let's have another go. Maybe a bit darker. And then some branches. and um, we can use the side like this. I think this is called scumming. So I'm going up and down roughly and that creates a lovely grass effect and we can do a few flicky strokes using the point. Now they're a bit too high <laughs> but that's okay. Like that and a little bit of splatter because it might be um, autumn time and just a few leaves on the tree. But as you can see, look, just a few marks with this one brush and we've already created a scene. So let's have one more go. So we're going up and you can always make that go up to a tip if you want and then have branches coming off and then use our scumming technique the side of the brush and then a few marks going up oh that's nice so I'm pressing down a bit more this time and it's giving me that thicker thicker brush mark so obviously if I spent a bit more time with this, I could create something really, really nice. And if these marks are a bit strong, you can just do that with your finger. Never be afraid to use your finger or the tissue because you can quickly correct things and um, no problem. So there we go, using the side of the brush. And here we go too, we could do things like um, I'm not sure what we could do with this, but it could be something like a gate or something like that. It's maybe a little bit too wide for a gate, but still looks quite good. And of course, we can do things like buildings in the distance. Ooh. That, that's supposed to be a house. <laughs> Let me have another go. Maybe that's better. Yeah, that's much better. And then of course, you can have a bit of a tree here. Should I have a bigger tree and hide that? <laughs> and then one there. So all I'm doing here is doodling. And then look, here's a path. 
like that to our house and I have no idea what this could be maybe that could be a tree and some branches coming out like that so have a go using the side and using the point and uh, also doing a little bit of this splatter <laughs> 